Europe is facing a historic and severe economic crisis with a negative feedback loop between a serious government debt crisis, a growth and job creation crisis, and a financial sector crisis. Europe has set out a plan to deal with the economic crisis, and Europe now needs to focus on realizing the plan. Europe has to exit the crisis, to prevent new crises, and to focus on stronger growth and job creation. In order to do so, the most important thing is to bring order in our own houses. At the European level, we have set out a comprehensive plan to deal with the crisis, with a safety net, with new rules of the game to focus on sound economic policies and stronger regulation of banks. At the national level, we have to move on with fiscal consolidation and economic reform. Basically, we have to put our words into action. The negotiations over the EU's seven-year budget boil down to three fundamental questions. First, how much money should we spend? Second, how should we spend the money? And third, how do we finance the budget? In essence, how do we spend better and more efficiently when all budgets are constrained? Those are difficult questions to answer, but we have to in order to manage our budget efficiently and find money for the new European priorities, in particular growth and jobs. The multi-annual financial framework for the EU from 2013 to 2020 and the major underlying policy areas will be negotiated during the Danish EU presidency. These negotiations will be a central issue but are not expected to be concluded during the Danish presidency. Research and innovation creates jobs and improve the quality of life. Investment in research is therefore an investment in our future. The EU is experiencing increasing competition from emerging countries. Therefore, we need to strengthen our engagement in research and collaboration in the research area. If we collaborate on research, we get results that no EU member state could have done on their own. The EU supports research in very important ways. First, by focusing on individuals who have innovative, unconventional ideas which can lead to real scientific breakthroughs. And second, by facilitating collaborations across the borders and bringing together top researchers from different European institutions to obtain results together which would otherwise not have been possible. The common agricultural policy is another aspect of the multi-annual framework that will be negotiated but not terminated during the Danish presidency. This budget line accounts for approximately 40% of the EU budget. The common agricultural policy is to be reformed to respond to future challenges regarding food, natural resources and territorial aspects. The common agricultural policy is part of the solution to the challenges that Europe is facing. It can contribute to a sustainable development and create new sources of income. The policy will be negotiated and reformed during the Danish presidency and we have the potential to make a strong and efficient internal market with focus on public goods such as environment, climate and animal welfare. Europe has set out a plan to deal with the crisis, to move to a better future of growth and jobs. We know what to do. Let's go do it. Let's put our houses into order. That's the top economic priorities of the Danish EU presidency.